My name is Jonas, and I oversee the commissary production of food here for the restaurant and also the other Drake locations. Doug, Noah, and I jumped in a car at the hotel, and we headed up to uh, K2 to check out their mill to learn a bit about the process of, of how they mill there. We, we are always like searching for a better flower, a more unique flavor, a sweeter taste, more like depth and flavor. Hey guys. Hey, how's it hey. going? Welcome to the mill. How's it going? It's Jonas. Good to see you, Jonas. Noah. Noah, good to see you again. I'm Doug. Doug, pleased to meet you. Good to meet you too. Welcome to the mill. He took the time to really go through everything and he spent like a whole day with us just uh, explaining everything he does and he was he was happy to share everything. All the, all the information he had with us. So it was, it was a good learning experience. It's a unique mill. It's kind of more common with what would have been used like uh, four or 500 years ago, or wow. even longer than that. Actually, probably more like a, over a 1,000 years ago, before stone mills. Holy. Now, the, we took a very simple approach to grinding grain, pulverizing, hitting two stones together, and kind of adapted it to 21st century. So when we like smell the grains when we're going through them and, and tasting the flour, you're kind of looking for some aroma, some like depth there that might come across in the sourdough when we bake it. Is there anything you have on there that's like not on that list? There's uh, hemp flour, since yeah. hemp's in the news a lot. This yeah. is on active hemp. But it's wow. hemp's a very, very nutritious, complete, oh, yeah. complete mm -hmm. protein. Yeah, can we get um, a couple bags of the Frederick bread flour? And you know, what else do we want? Spelt, a bag of spelt. Yeah, a bag of yeah. spelt, a uh, bag of barley. And these two, the hemp and the pumpkin seed. And that trip was a great chance to uh, to get to know the process and get to meet a new miller and see what see what they had available. And, and we integrated some of the flour we tasted that day and into a couple of the, the sourdoughs that we make. At the catering lodge, most of it was just helping to make sure that everything ran smoothly. Like, um, whatever Matt needed, I jumped in the back and helped with plating a couple of his dishes, like the, the uh, cauliflower and made sure the, the charcuterie station was set up, and yeah, just helped out uh, loading, unloading, made sure everything was set up. On the roof there, we had a dessert station with like mini, uh, mini pies and ice cream and stuff. Overlooking the Queen West there, we had an outdoor patio dessert, dessert station. I think uh, the most exciting thing about this is the potential to grow.